Hey guys, how's it going? I've been getting a lot of questions regarding these new C-Cam hang on the back filters. Uh, they are known as the Tidal Series, T-I-D-A-L. Yes, Avery, you're gonna be on the camera. Quit grabbing my arm. Um, C-Cam, C-Cam is a crazy growing uh, brand right now. And someone told me that uh, the reason C-Cam is doing so well is because it's owned by a huge amount of Aquarius that actually invest in it. So it's actually owned by like hundreds of uh, fish keepers. I don't know how that really works, but they are definitely making strides on their products and their product line of meds and like uh, things you add to the water is probably the best on the market right now, in my opinion. So um, I did some research and uh, I started looking into these new Tidal filters. Um, I'll, I want to give you guys some, uh, let's take a look at what I, some of the stuff I found. All right, let's take a look at some Facebook posts. Title 110 versus the AquaClear 110. Which is best and why? Uh, the Title 110 holds 0.85 gallons of media, rated at 450 gallons per hour. AquaClear 110 holds 1.25 gallons of media, rated at 500 gallons per hour. And the title is self-priming. Here's a post. Got another AquaClear 110 to replace my Title 110s. Uh, you might ask yourself, uh, why? Let's look at the answers here. Uh, you aren't disappointed. Yes, there's a lot of bypass in, clean, in one week of cleaning, in my opinion. Did you notice the skimmer started failing? It was working properly. It would be perfect for a 40 gallon breeder. My AC wasn't good until a power failure. AquaClear power failure until I could get a new filter and replace my older filters. I have both, and in my opinion, the title's way better hands down. I want to sell my AquaClear 110s. Don't let a media pad stop you from getting the superior. So as you can see, uh, that was some Facebook posts. I know it was super fast, I apologize, but I just wanted to give you guys the gist of some research that I did. Uh, I also did get on Amazon to read some of the reviews. I cannot share those. Amazon's kind of weird about that stuff. Yes, Avery, I know, they know you're on camera. Yes, Avery's here, guys. Um, the title filters are great. Uh, they are more, This these, these are the, the aspects they break down to. The title is more customizable. It has the surface skimmer and it has a setting to where you can uh, change the flow rate, which is kind of cool. Um, I think at the end of the day, the title filters are better for smaller tanks. You know, like anything below a 40 gallon breeder, like that post said, the guy who he was returning them because uh, they're, they're just not as powerful as the AquaClear, and I think this is sincerely true. Uh, any, yes, yes, they, we can see you, yep. The titles are great for smaller tanks, you know, because it's more customizable. At the end of the day, uh, I'm a big tank guy, so I'm a bit biased when it comes to this stuff. Uh, filtering a tank is real simple. There's a couple variables. How much water, the amount of water, the volume, like the capacity, gallons per hour, how much you can throw, uh, the flow rate, essentially, and what kind of media it's, been ran, it's being run through. And I just explained that terrible. The basic components, the flow rate, how, how much water is going through the media and the media itself. The AquaClear 110, uh, the media is superior to the Tidal filter. Uh, it's just a little thin, uh, real small filter. And if people try and tell me that that is as good as the huge massive uh, 20 ppm sponge in the AquaClear 110s. You just haven't been the around the block yet as far as uh, filtering big tanks or heavy bio loads because um, a title just probably isn't going to do it. But on a on a smaller nano tank or something, yes, yes, you're here. Uh, the title is probably perfect, and uh, it's more customizable. Uh, Seacam, uh, I think there's. A, I think 80% of fish aquarium keepers, uh, aquarists essentially, keep tanks smaller than 30 gallons and below. Because I've learned there's a massive, massive uh, niche for like beta fish keepers, guppy fish keepers, uh, all the live bears. Keeping smaller tanks, uh, there's more people. And Seachem is really smart by advertising to this or catering to this industry. and. Uh, the AquaClear is still a better filter for uh, 
just generic filtration. Uh, yeah, I'm babbling, but the title is, these are, I think a better comparison would be the Marine Land filters versus the Tidal filters because they're both in the same price margin. Uh, the Fluval Aquaclears are more money. What? Yes, Daddy's just babbling. I'm babbling. Maybe if you have a title, uh, you should comment below. I'm super interested to know. My vote's going to the Aquaclear 110. Uh, the Aquaclear uh, filters, filter line is better, hands down in my opinion. Fluval's been doing this a really long time. Uh, the pump, the crazy flow rate is there. The massive, massive sponge and the quiet and smoothness of these filters is insane. And there's more, there's so much more surface agitation in the Aqua Clear, uh, just that the, at how it falls into the water. Oh. All right, I'm geeking out. I love filter talk. If you guys want to talk filters, uh, my vote goes to the Aqua Clear 110. But if you want to check out the title filters, um, there's a lot of good reviews on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description box on the title filters because I can't share any of the Amazon stuff. Uh, they actually messaged me and told me I couldn't use screenshots and stuff from their website or their reviews and stuff. So I can't do that anymore. <sighs> so hit up the link in the description box if you want to read more reviews on the title. I think they're better catered to smaller tanks. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Simple as day. Uh, the title wins on smaller tanks. The Aqua Clears win on bigger tanks. Ooh. All right, guys. Uh, Avery's a Krabby Patty today. Um, I'm building a new stand. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that in this next vid.